I want to talk about suction for a minute. It used to be that cleaning dirt from our homes was strictly a broom's job. Sweep, 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 scoop, sweep, 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 scoop. It was an annoying ritual from what I hear. But luckily, for the sake of floor cleanliness, innovation unveiled a machine that inhales. The domestic duty of keeping our floors dirt free has long required hard work by us humans. At the turn of the century, people were beginning to understand more about microorganisms and them causing disease. So they were paying more attention to hygiene and health. Carpet is so clean. We vacuum. Ah. Jeannie Miller is the expert and curator of domestic life at the Henry Ford Museum. So she was the perfect person to tell me all about the evolution of the vacuum cleaner. So before the vacuum cleaner, how do people clean? The basic cleaning tool that people have used for centuries and we still use today is, of course, the broom. We have this over here. And this one could be 150, 200 years old. It's a splint broom because wood is splintered to create the bristles so that you can sweep with it. So it gets a lot of the big stuff, but it, it also raises clouds of dust. By the late 19th century, people also used these wooden rackets to beat the dust out of the rugs. No surprise, they were called rug beaters. All right, so then what happens after the rug beater? Well, a wonderful tool that we actually still use today is the carpet sweeper. And this was a mechanical device. The Bissell Company created their first carpet sweeper in the late 1870s. In the early 1900s, a man named James Spangler came along, a janitor whose asthma was aggravated by the dust left behind from a carpet sweeper. He wanted to create a mechanical version run by electricity, which he did. He wasn't able to bring it to market because he didn't have the financial resources, so he sold his design to the Hoover Company. You have a fan like an exhaust fan that pulls the dirt in, and that is run by an electric motor. And in fact, this is the first commercially successful portable vacuum cleaner. Jeez, it's electric, I see the yeah. cord right there. It's, yep, Hoover Model O. The one thing I always wanted, and I'd see advertised, and we never got, was a dust buster. We actually have one here today. I just um, want to touch it. Next to that is a 1927-ish version of a hand vac. You notice it's made out of metal, it's kind of heavy. The dust buster was first made as a tool called the spot vac, sold to men for their workshops. Their wives caught on and would use the spot vac to clean up spilled food. So the dust buster, what would become known as the dust buster, basically got a promotion from the basement to the kitchen. It absolutely did. All of this is really interesting, but what I really want to know is, can I borrow your dust buster? Sure. Just want to hold it. Just want to hold it. 